Hello, I'm Super Duper Gamer. This is Pumpkin Jack. We're in level two. Uh, we've made it to the top of this, um, this crazy, uh, minecart section of the, the, the town. We went through a minecart ride, actually, in the last, uh, uh, episode, last video. Check it out. Uh, now we're getting further up the mountain. Oh my gracious, looks like we got a little ways to go still, though. Uh, following the minecart track, so let's keep going. I figured out last video also that I can kill these bats by just staying back far enough away. And there you go, he did. And I don't even have to have to engage in a fight with them, but let's go ahead and do a little fighting with them. Oh man, okay. I'm still, I still, I still think these guys that come out of the ground, uh, ow, that come out of the ground and they have the uh, billy clubs or whatever those things are. Um, they're the, uh, the toughest uh, enemies so far in the game. They're the most annoying. But they do present a challenge, and I do like a challenge. Looks like we gotta go that way, but there is actually a fork in the road here. And you know what? Maybe because the mummies over... Ooh, there's some minecarts moving around over there. They're going pretty fast. Huh. Maybe we actually found a fork in the road in this game. So maybe it's not completely linear. Whoa. Oh my, it's the Grim Reaper, maybe? I guess. Oh, you must go no further. This place does not welcome you. Who dares turn me away? I'm Jack, mercenary of the devil himself. I'm the guardian of this place and the power it contains. Heed this warning, Jack. If you do not leave willingly, you will be removed from here in a thousand pieces. I'm not going to listen to that. Who the heck was that? Talk about your restless dead. Okay, this is going to be tricky, so... <laughs> not only are their minecarts just moving magically on their own, and they're moving pretty dang fast, they also are filled with dynamite. It looks, that's what it looks like. It looks like they're filled with dynamite. Okay, so my guess... Because I'm a little confused here. Something over there. If this is actually a fork in the road, my guess is going this way is like a shortcut so I can bypass some other things. And maybe I get a special uh, weapon or something if I, if I go that way. But I'm going to go back and check this real quick. Because this might also just be a fork in the road that ends and I have a dead end, you know, and I have to go back. Because maybe there's a special item this way. I had no idea. So that's pretty cool. Let's go check this out. So yeah, maybe I should hold down. Oh, it's a gramophone. Maybe I should hold down shift. Oh man, that does make it easier. So yeah. A little tip, uh, hold down sh shift or whatever the walk button is when you go across these mining tracks because it's a little less uh, finicky than if you don't. Okay, so this is just dead end. And I'll take that. We'll do a little dance. And I don't know what this gives you, but it gives you a little video of Pumpkin Jack dancing. I'll take it. I want to change my outfit, though, because uh, I think I'm ready for a change. I got to find the mummy guy, though. Yay! There's only one of those per level, by the way, so, um... You probably get a special, uh... Maybe a special, uh... Maybe you get the good ending or something if you collect all of them. There's only one per level. It seems like they're pretty special, but they don't give you... They don't seemingly give you any special abilities or items, weapons, whatnot like that, so... Alright, so this is gonna be fun. I think that's saved for me. I hope it's saved for me. Because I went over here before I went over there to get the uh, gramophone. And it said save when I came over here. And it did say save right before I picked up the gramophone. So, in any case, if I die here and it didn't save, then I'll just have to watch the video over again with him dancing. And I'm okay with that. Alright, now we're going to have to run. We cannot... Oh, what are you doing there? Ah, move out of my way. Okay, I get a little break here. Relax for a second. Oh, I got to break that. Yeah? Did I break that? Oh, I gotta jump over it. That's what's going on here. Yeah, let's wait for the carts. I'm following you guys. I'm following you guys. Ooh, oh, fortunately the... Oh, what am I doing? Okay, okay. Fortunately, the carts go at like the same speed that uh, Pumpkin Jack moves at when he's running. Uh... Oh, that hurt. Don't hurt me. Ah, stop hurting me. 
<laughs> oh, bad guy. Okay. See, oh, jeez. Ah. Oh, I'm almost dead. Okay, so this is what scares me, is when I'm on the, um, on a platform really high up where, you know, I'd instantly die if I fell, pretty much. Uh, you get one extra jump if you didn't do one jump, or two jumps, I guess, double jump, to try to get back onto a ledge somewhere if you do fall. Uh, but, you know, when I hit the attack button, sometimes I lunge forward with the, uh, spear. So we're gonna switch to the shovel, because you do not lunge forward forward i don't think it, yeah you only so you stay in one position and you spin in a circle like a tasmanian devil and looney tunes uh with the shovel okay well i can't get hit again by the dynamite oh. mm, okay i need health i need health i'm not doing so hot right now <laughs> help me i need health wait a minute where do i go now oh i jump over there it looks like I really need health. I'm going to have to get a running start here. Following the dynamite mine carts. We go. Jump! Saving. Can a bird get vertigo? Because eek! You know, I don't believe a bird could. Although every bird is probably a little different. So there's probably different species of bird and different individual birds that uh, feel a little less comfortable about heights. Okay, easy. Yeah. So I got... I got a fire under my butt right now, making me worry about getting hit by this dynamite. That's probably a good thing, because I got, like, no health and uh, one-hit kill. That's what we're dealing with here. Oh, I don't think I should have tried that. Looked like I wasn't going to make that. Okay. Whew. Give me some help. <laughs> Give me some help. Hey, getting, like, no health out of these crates. No health. No health at all. Hmm. I might be able to make that jump, and it looks like I don't have a choice. Yeah, so I like the spear thing for, um, attack, for f actual fights, but the shovel is much better for, like, you know, if you need to knock something out of the way or break something and you're on a ledge up high, because you know you won't lunge forward. Okay, we easily made that. Still getting a little familiar with how far I can really push it in terms of jumping and stuff. Snow. Did I mention don't touch the carts? Because don't touch the carts? Thank you, Crow. Very helpful. Oh, my gracious. Okay. Oh, there's a little crow skull that way. Oh. I want that crow skull. Thank you. Okay, jump back up there now. Oh, I did. He grabbed the ledge that time. There's a guy over there. He's shooting me. Okay, thank you. All right. Oh, I should have grabbed that health back there. <laughs> oh, another crow skull. Oh, no! What's going on? Ah! Woohoo! 13 failures, Jack. Question mark. Maybe they give me all, all my health. Uh, what's my health? Yes. yes. Okay, so when you die, you get all your health back. So, um... I mean, unless you're really trying to get through the game with as few deaths as possible. There we go. It is just easier to just kill yourself and get all your health back. That's the way video games are sometimes, guys. I mean, you, uh... It's easier to just sometimes jump off a cliff and start out. I mean, especially in Pumpkin Jack, because you got infinite lives. I need to jump over here first. There it is. I was just so focused on that crow. Uh-uh. So focused on that crow skull that I ended up falling. Oh, another present. I want that present. Let's go get the present. Ah, I double jumped. Ah, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. All right. We got all the goodies. I think we can uh, press on now. Just blow through this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Up, up, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't care. Okay, run back. Go over here. Need some time to take a breather here. There's four carts. Go this way. So the... the, the oh, the scary thing with that is... I was going to say... <laughs> if you get hit by one of those carts, then you just kind of stumble around. Then you get hit by another cart, and another cart, and another cart. And at that point, uh, you're going to be dead. Who is pushing all these minecarts full of dynamite around? It's really dangerous. They shouldn't be doing that. I mean, who builds minecart 
tracks. They're just, you know, there's no guardrails either. It's very dangerous, very dangerous. Okay. All right, so we made it through that. I'm going to go back to my spear because it's a better weapon in general. Thanks. That's better. Thanks. 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 Mr. Owl. I can't hit you either, can I? Eh. Owl's always being mean to Jack. Okay. Let's see. That looks like a magic minecart over there. It looks like another minecart ride section. Let me get that square skull. Have not seen the mummy guy yet. Probably because they're waiting for me. They're allowing me to collect up a whole bunch of crow skulls so I can actually have currency to buy something because I don't know if it's saved from the last level or not. Well, look. A one-stop train to hell. Okay, okay. Wait, I guess I can't get in the caboose. I have to get in this one here. All right. One moment. One moment. Let me just double check. Okay, I didn't miss anything. And I cannot actually walk on this because there's, uh, there's no um railroad ties or whatever you call them. The boards that go out from one rail to another. Uh, I already went up there. Okay. Ooh. There's stuff way up there. And see, you just don't know if that's actually part of the level or not. Or if it's just, you know, for ambiance. That's okay. Go for a drive. Mm -hmm. Alright, so again, our buttons are uh, spacebar to jump. And right mouse click. Good to spam that. Uh, just constantly hit it a whole bunch. Uh, to break things with the crow. Jump! Although it probably wouldn't be good to spam it if I were to actually, if I were, if it were actually able to shoot the uh, crow when I don't need the crow, you know, and then you would actually have to time it. That would be a little bit more challenging. Uh, this is already stressful. Nif, jump! All right, pumpkin jack. All right. This wizard's making me do a lot of work to destroy him. Around the bend. Do do do. do, do. I do appreciate these uh, these lights or these these uh, these heated up rails to let you know as an indicator you need to hit the jump button now. Uh, it makes it a bit easier than if it didn't have that. <laughs> and I don't know how we're I still don't know how we're accelerating. We don't have a motor on this thing. It's just magic. Jump. Up 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 jump. Uh huh. Jam. Jump again. Oh, I jump. Oh, okay. Thought I jumped too soon there. It's usually not a worry about jumping too late. I seem to be a little uh, trigger happy and jump too soon sometimes. There we go. We made it to the end. Ooh, it's a. Oh, there's the mummy guy over there. Um, so, wow, that was great. You know, I could get used to this. Really? Huh. Okay, let me just save. Real quick, new checkpoint. Mm, yeah, that's better. Because I don't know, can I... I wonder if I can save the game. I can go buy an outfit, check it out, see if I like it or not. If I don't like it, kill myself, and then reload the game and see if I still have my money and I could buy another outfit. I don't know. From the uh, mummy guy. So it doesn't look like that would catch on fire. Last time when I destroyed a whole bunch of stuff in like a laboratory, 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 um, everything caught fire. Now, it might have been because it was specifically a Bunsen burner or some sort of uh, fire thing that caused that. Yeah, okay, so I can just destroy this, right? Uh, they don't actually let me destroy the shells of, uh, glassware. Glassware. Uh, ooh, another crow skull. I'll grab that, because I might have 15. Oh, just 14. Because I think the next level up, the next tier, is 15 crow skulls. Um, but that stinks, though, because I don't know if it saved any over from the last time. But I'm definitely going to change my outfit here, uh, if I can. I came from this way, yeah? I can't go back that way, apparently. Huh. Why would I want to go back that way? Yeah, so if I hold down shift, I can do, like, a little trot. Oh, he doesn't do it as much with this weapon. If I switch the weapon... There we go. Oh, now he's more, like, running. Okay, that's, that's really running. Okay, so he has slightly different um, animations that he uses with different weapons. Looks like we go that way to continue on with the level, but first we'll talk to the mummy. Oh, there's another uh, telescope and book here. Uh, if I hit escape... Yeah, it says I have uh, 14 crow skulls out of, what was it, 20? And one uh, gramophone out of one gramophone. So there shouldn't be another gramophone. And let's go talk to the mummy. Anything else over here? Oh, I need one more crow skull. I have 15. 
I could backtrack, maybe? So, some parts of the level you can't backtrack. You pretty clearly can't. You fall down a, a, a tall ledge to the bottom. You can't double jump back up, you know? All right, let's see what he's got. Oh, it's you again. Come to browse some more of my fabulous skins? Stop calling them that. Why? They're literally people's skins. I know, it's creepy. Well, it's if digging up corpses and intricately peeling off their skin to sell as costumes is creepy, then I guess I'm creepy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just buy something or go away. Mm hmm. Do I get the discount this time? I guess not. But it looks like it saved my crow skulls from last time. So I have 27. So now the question becomes should I wait? save up more crow skulls and just go ahead and buy the most expensive thing which is the buzzard i'm not gonna wait so i can't get the skeleton though either okay so the next level would be 30 i have 27 i need three more so it's possible i could continue on with the level collect up three more and come back and get the skeleton Otherwise, there's Inspector, the Samurai I was really interested in, and Cowboy. We're going to go with the Samurai. That should leave us with a lot of other stuff. There you go. Uh, I thought it'd be a little more colorful. That's okay. I wonder if I get any special abilities. I don't think I did when I bought the, what was it, the Lumber. I figured that out afterward when I was thinking about it after after uh, I played here, and it was like, Lumberjack. Of course, Lumberjack. <laughs> All right, so we are, uh, should be equipped, okay. Stop shopping. So we are now the Samurai, Samurai Jack, which was actually a TV show, I think, at one time. On Adult Swim or whatever. Uh, ch TV channel. Old-fashioned TV. It's all YouTube now. It's all YouTube. It's all Super Duper Gamer. All Super Duper Gamer. All Bike Blogger. By the way, I have a cycling channel, if you can check that out, too. Okay, so... No special abilities. Looks like it's just purely appearance-wise. Uh, I look like a samurai now. So maybe I get a sword eventually, and that could actually go better with the outfit. Let's go ahead and save again. I I'm happy with this outfit. Mmm, that's better. Anyway, thanks for watching me. I'm Super Duper Gamer. This is Pumpkin Jack. We'll continue on with level 2 in the next video. Bye-bye.